Hi, in this video, I will walk you through the eight different solutions how you can fix the touch screen sensitivity problems on your Samsung Galaxy S8. Now, if you're having a problem with the touch screen, sometimes when you're touching it, it works, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes you feel like you need to press it really hard for the touch screen to uh, recognize your fingertips, or especially at the top here, Sometimes it is not very sensitive and sometimes you need to really press it down for it to work. So let's see um, what you can do to uh, fix this problem. Now the first uh, thing is uh, to look out for the screen protector. Sometimes a spat screen protector can affect the sensitivity issues. For example, if you drop your phone somewhere or if you knock the phone against something, then the touch screen sometimes can become loose and that causes a sensitivity issues with the phone. So what I would want to, uh, what I would recommend you to do is dry the screen if it is wet or if it has a lot of dust, give it a good clean and see if that works. I know the touch screen sometimes can be expensive, if, especially when you buy a really expensive one, uh, which costs around thirty dollars, and uh, to uh, to take it off and ruin the the, um, the screen protectors. So I know sometimes you feel reluctant to do that. You might want to. Um, Watch all the other one and try them out first before you want to uh, try and remove the screen protector. So here you can see the screen protector sometimes can become loose and it's not very sticking down to the actual LCD or to the touch screen and that can cause a problem because there is a, a very thin layer right there which causes the screen not to respond very well. So you can either try to press it down. If you press it down really hard and you, if you notice the screen responds quite well, then definitely the, the screen protectors is causing the issue. So we can also try to take it out and see if after taking out the screen protectors, if the screen is more sensitive. As you can see here, it is uh, more sensitive when I take out the screen protector. Okay, the uh, issues number two is uh, sometimes your phone is freezing up and that can cause the issues so you can try to force reboot your phone what you want to do is press onto the power button right here and the volume down key for 10 seconds so these two keys here press and hold so I'll press for 10 seconds also and that will restart your phone so this is a force reboot and that will reboot your phone and uh, once your phone boot up, see if that fixes the problem. Okay, and the third solution to check uh, what's causing the problem is to check for the uh, third party apps. Third party app can cause a problem, especially a bad one. And sometimes that can cause the screen not to um, respond properly. So in this case, you can boot into safe mode. Uh, when you are booting into safe mode, only the stock software will be loaded and a third party app will not be loaded so you can test out and uh, determine if uh, the third party app is causing an issue or not to boot into uh, safe mode turn off your device then press and hold into the power button so press and hold do not let go so now it's turning on the phone so we just press and hold into the power button and wait now we we'll wait until we see the Samsung logo appear. So continue to wait. Continue to wait. Now you see the Samsung logo appear and quickly press the volume down key. So you have to do it quickly. So as soon as you let go of the power button, you need to press on the volume down key straight away. So here I uh, got the pin code. So I'm just gonna pin the pin code. Once you pin your pin code, um, I can just gonna tap on done and pressing on the down volume key just to make sure so I'm just going to uh, press on the down volume key to make sure that we are booting into safe mode if you don't have a pin then just uh, continue to press on the volume down key so that you can go into safe mode And there it is, you can see we are now in safe mode. And then check your phone and see if the screen is still causing an issue or not. If it is, you might want to go to the next solution. So now I'm just going to restart the phone to get out of safe mode. Okay, solution number four is to install an app that may be causing the issue. 
for example if you recently install an app and straight away and uh, you feel the screen is not working correctly so try to go into the app uh, screen and then look through the apps that may be causing an issue and uh, try to uninstall that for example let's say this app here is causing an issue so from your home screen swipe up then go into apps tap on the apps there and then tap on uninstall and then tap on ok and remove the apps and see if that can uh, solve the problem if not um, go to the next solution so did you recently uh, wet the device or if your hand is wet and you uh, trying to use your device while your hand is wet uh, the water sometimes can cause the screen not to respond properly so what you want to do is to dry it completely get a very soft towel and dry the screen completely and leave it to dry for a few minutes and after that, after that uh, give it a go and see if uh, the touch screen uh, becoming more responsive if it's still not working, um, you can try to remove the accessories on your phone while it sounds uh, weird. Uh, sometimes it may work. So you want to uh, remove the SD card, remove the SIM card, uh, just temporarily. So it's not permanently. So you just want to uh, temporarily remove the, the SIM card, the SD card, remove the charger if you have the charger cable plug in, remove the headphone if they are also plug in, and then remove everything and then tr try to touch screen see if that works the last thing you want to try to do is um, reset the device so if everything's you try everything else already and it that is, doesn't work go into the settings screen by swipe down tap on the settings icon and then you can go in here and try to uh, reset so um, general management and then tap on reset and then tap on factory data reset now before you go ahead and reset your device it is best that you uh, back up all your data because once you reset your phone all your data on the phone is lost such as uh, contacts photos notes and anything on your phone will be totally erased so be very careful to um, do this so yes back up your phone first before you want to uh, go ahead and reset the device so i need to pin the pin to reset the device and in here you want to uh, tap on delete all if you are sure to go ahead and that will reset your phone now if after resetting the device and you have set up your phone and you find that the screen still have an issue then it is very likely that you have a hardware problem uh, whether you have dropped the phone and something inside the touch screen is damaging and in this case your final solution uh, or the solution number eight is to take your phone to the professional so take it to the samsung repair store and let them have a look at it and see what is uh, causing the touch screen problem if it's still under warranty you can uh, try to get them to uh, repair it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos